directed by Josh Whedon. I don't think we need that anymore. Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to be doing a movie review of Justice League directed by Zack Snyder uh, that I recently saw on HBO Max. And I, I gotta tell you, it's looking pretty good. Pretty good, but so this movie, and yeah, in total is about four hours. So it was a it was a lot to grasp at all at once. I really didn't take like a few breaks. I know it would have been smarter to take breaks. This whole movie, I'm not gonna get too much into details, but it's got amazing action sequences. The character development is on point. The dialogue is better. The music is uh, slightly changed. And obviously the story uh, is a lot more in depth and a lot more broader. I love The Flash, Cyborg, and uh, Wonder Woman, and Aquaman. I, I love how each Justice League member gets their own, own introduction and their own like screen time. I didn't really get that in the Josh Whedon version. There was like nothing to grab off. The Josh Whedon version, that guy, I can't believe he did what he did to um, this movie. This is such an important movie that fans want to see it done correctly. A uh, little, little funny story here. When I first saw the 2017 Justice League Josh Whedon version, I was pretty, I was pretty pissed. I was with my best friends. And this is a movie I've been wanting to see on the screen. My expectations were sort of high because I was like eight years old watching the Justice League series, and then even recently with all the new animated. Justice League movies that they do going into the Josh Wee and Justice League 15 minutes in you know I'm just literally like <clears throat> what am I looking at here so that was that was pretty much my whole reaction I kid you not throughout the rest of the movie I was like holding in my reaction because my friends already they were sitting right next to me and they already knew that something was up and then when I got out of theater, I was like pissed and I was cussing. I was like, that is the worst shit I've ever seen. I was just so in shock of what Josh Whedon did, you know, with, with the mouth of Henry Cavill, the story, the characters, they were all goofy and quirky. And I was just like, it was just unreal to me. And overall though, Justice League, I mean, Zack Snyder, you know, he had to do with what he could, you know, during the time of everything that was happening in his career and his personal life. There's so much to say about this movie, you know. I kind of wish that he had just at least, I know like you can press pause and all that, but I just wish he had just put it in like episodes or, you know, or at least like two long movies, like two hour two movies or something like that. But yeah, it was mainly the end that I was kind of like, uh, I was kind of unsure about and so it kind of made me feel like oh, they just threw in all these Easter eggs. Like, I'm, I don't think it's a guarantee that we're gonna get another Justice League. I mean, that'd be awesome. I'm just kind of... DC's just been all over the place and it's getting a little confusing, but this movie, yeah, it, it was... it really was what I was expecting. A lot more depth in this movie. I love Superman. Diana was a lot more interesting in this movie than she was in Wonder Woman 2. Batman, uh, once again, yeah, he just... every time I see Batman on screen, I always feel like he almost can steal the movie. Ben Affleck was amazing in it. He looks exactly like the Batman animated series Bruce Wayne. The ending part for me, that that's what did it for me. I honestly don't know if, if it was necessary to put the ending part in. I mean, it was cool, but I honestly feel like if we're not gonna get any of that in the future, as in another movie, then why even bother putting it in? And then yeah, seeing Batman and Joker on screen together is awesome. But I just, I can't stand Jared Little's uh, Joker. I can't stand his laugh. He sounds like the Grinch or something. He just doesn't really fit. They made him look cooler. You know, I liked his look with the long hair. That was more intriguing than, you know, what he had on the damaged face and the grills and all that. I mean, I don't know about his grills and his teeth still, but I did like his look. I just can't stand when he talks. He's like, oh, I'll be the bigger man. It almost like ruined it for me. Just a little bit, but but I did like seeing the ending, you know, it was cool. I just don't know if we're gonna get that. So I'm gonna go 7 out of 10 for my rating. And um, if you guys have not seen this movie, check it out on HBO Max, Zack Snyder's uh, Justice League movie. And thank you, Zack, for doing everything that you could have done for this movie, because I'm such a fan of DC, and uh, it's just been a rough, yeah, four years, I'm sure, for everybody that was a, a fan of Justice League. Yeah, so check it out, guys, and uh, I will see you guys next time.